I'm sitting here in the food court in the Mall of America, and I'm sitting right here. A gentleman came and sat down with his baby, brought uh, his Chipotle, and then must have forgot something, and he left his baby over there. And here he comes right now. The baby's just sitting here all by himself in the Mall of America, all by himself. And anybody could just walk away with this baby right now. Here he comes. Unbelievable. Are you serious? Oh man, the drama is ramping up. That's a perfect time to, for the pause. There's a Minnesota man at the Mall of America, that huge mall out in Minnesota. And he's just sitting at the food court, chilling, hanging out. And oh my God, there's a baby that's been left alone. There's a salad in front of him. It's obvious that he's not eating it. A somewhat, some irresponsible parent must have left. He's narrating the whole thing. Let's, let's, let's get to the conversation. I know you guys, let's just see it. Let's watch what they did next. And anybody can just walk away with this baby right now. Here he comes. Unbelievable. Are you serious? You were gone for three minutes. You just left your kid right. No, you were gone for three minutes. I've been counting on video right now. You left your kid sitting here by himself. Not acceptable. Not my kid, but not acceptable. Do you understand? Someone could have just walked away with your kid. No, you don't understand that? So that three minutes I could have just taken your kid right now and walked away with them and you don't care? This is a place with cameras. Cameras? Yeah. So you you think security is watching your kid right now to make sure that I don't walk away with them? That's what you think? I just hope that you don't do this every single day. Because that you should have brought your kid with you. Unacceptable. But bro, he would have lost his table. Obviously, this is a very busy mall. I can't take your kid with you, what's wrong with you? By the way, this is now shifted to a story of who's right and who's wrong. Or maybe the right approach to take. Because there was a bunch of comments. Um, and they were divided between two different uh, uh, factions of people on two different apps and sites that watched this. Folks on TikTok that saw it, they were in support. Of the guy filming, here's one user. She said that would be the last time my daughter's father takes her anywhere. And the uh, the creative whole thing, Dustin says, absolutely 100%. Pam Nichols went on to say, good for you for standing for that baby's safety. Dustin, my duty, absolutely. Cali girl, six or whatever, 62 Cali girl says, the largest mall in the US and he just left the baby like it wasn't nothing. She's angry. I'm sure Shally enjoyed that as well. But over on Twitter, they're not as big of a fan of this guy. Someone said, so instead of passively helping by watching the baby, this MF decided to go full caring about it. JFC, what a pathetic piece of you know what else. Someone else said, I honestly don't understand the problem. Here in Germany, this would be totally normal. We don't steal kids here, they're a lot of work. We're gonna get to that soon. Also, someone else said, in Europe, it's not uncommon to leave your baby unattended. Denmark, you can literally park them like bikes at a bike rack. We're learning so much on this show. In fact, I think I heard about that before. We're gonna get to that soon, but this is probably the most rational take. Let's read this one. Seems like a great time to sit down and educate a new father calmly and rationally. Or you could film yourself belittling him and take advantage of his obvious embarrassment because you're so right and he is so wrong. Cuz it's for the kid, not your TikTok. The kid is the point. Yep. So, Dan, which side are you on? It, I hate to um, side with these sarcastic redditors because I find them to be some of the most annoying people on the internet next to Elon Musk simps. <laughs> but that being said, I think I'm gonna side with them because like, well, I, I'm a little bit in the middle on it to be honest because on the one hand, yeah, like they're saying in other countries in Europe, mm -hmm. it's a lot more common. The idea of child theft is not as big of an issue. It's not something that people worry about as much. This is not <laughs> the other countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. As a one Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino once said, uh, this is America. So <laughs> we're not, you, you can't be playing that stuff here. Like there's certain behaviors I would do back when I lived in Europe or go, when I go visit in Europe that I do because I'm aware that ah, I'm not gonna get shot right now. <laughs> that are mm -hmm. different than the behaviors that I have in the United States. And it's a terrible thing. I talk about it a lot on this show. I talk about like the weird realities about how I'm a leftist and I hate like guns and all these other different things. 
things, but I also believe that people on the left, especially like people of color should uh, train themselves and understand how weapons work, like because the realities of American society. And so mm-hmm. I think in knowing that you like, you shouldn't leave babies just unattended in any circumstance, especially if you're a newborn dad. Now, uh, this isn't for the baby, the baby's not gonna remember this. This isn't, the dad's gonna be shamed, sure, but this is for content, this is for TikTok, this is to go viral. That's most likely what this guy had in mind because this is what a lot of people have in mind in a sick way. And so it feels exploitative in that sense as well. And so I'm glad at least people are pointing that out because on TikTok, people will kind of just look at the, it's very reactionary platform from what I can find. Yeah. On Good morning, bad news, you can check me out. Absolutely, oh, I didn't know that's the mug, that's awesome. I'm gonna steal one of those from you. And so, so, so with this, this is the thing, right? What is your purpose? What's your end game? And you have to understand people are starting to look at it differently because everyone again has this camera. And if you're broadcasting stuff, we're at the point now where many folks look at it and go, what are you doing this for? So you have to start having that in mind. And I think he did come off like a bit of an a-hole, let's keep it real. But I do wanna show this really fast because you point out European countries, specifically Denmark. This is a visual and explanation as to what everyone's talking about with leaving your babies out. And this ain't Denmark, this is Minnesota, but let's watch. The Danish practice of having your baby sleep outside in their stroller is not only the cultural norm, but it's even recommended by our midwives and baby nurses. Fresh air is said to keep babies healthy and help them sleep better. And napping your baby in their stroller outside is done in all sorts of weather. It's common to leave your baby napping outside while you go shopping or sit in a cafe. Parents always keep a close eye or have a baby monitor in the stroller. Babies here don't get kidnapped because no one wants the responsibility of someone else's kid. Especially when our healthcare system does everything they can to help everyone who wants a baby to have their own at little to no cost. Some people ask why I would have my baby sleep in her stroller outside while we're at home. It's for her to get the benefits of fresh air. It's her most familiar sleeping surface at this point. And I love that if my family and I ever want to go somewhere while she's napping, we're never stuck at home. Oh, it's the carefree life. The freedom country. Yes, they let their kids sit out there. But my last thought, at least Dan, on this from from the fight and the argument is, I'm a dad. My kid's ten years old. I had this, you know, there's the dad thing they always say where you're catching kids falling, their head hits the ground. I I can't tell you how many situations I've seen children in with their guardian or parent, and it's, stuff was about to go down. And I was like, just keeping an eye. I was like, if that kid finally teeters off that edge, at least I'm gonna catch him before he hits his head. Just be ready. Not okay. Ooh. Can you believe this kid is about to fall off the ledge? Bro, maybe help, that's all. We're a bit of a community, maybe, used to be. No, no, You're no. the dad, I like your take. I know, <laughs> let's do it that way.